Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? <clears throat> I hope things are good. Um, guess what didn't happen this weekend? None of the stuff I told you I was going to do. <laughs> no new fancy lighting. Uh, no uh, cases for the sorting containers. None of that happened. Um, a, because I was sick. And I told you that on Friday. <clears throat> I, uh, I laid in bed all day Friday. Just trying to get better so that I could come down here and get this stuff done. But the reason it didn't happen was not because I laid in bed all weekend. I did not lay in bed all weekend. In fact, I did not get nearly as much rest as I should have considering the way I feel. And I still feel pretty ucky. Um, and the reason is that my girlfriend's car has been giving her some issues, lots of noises. And uh, last week I checked and... Both lower ball joints were loose, and one tie rod end was loose. <clears throat> and she has to go home next weekend, which is, um, you know, it's a drive, and it, it just needs to get done. And this weekend was supposed to be semi-decent temperatures. So we woke up on Saturday, and she was like, can we do my car today? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I hadn't told her my plans to do lights and all this stuff. So, like, woke up at, at Saturday morning and just went right at it. We went out and bought all the parts and came back, and I did both lower ball joints on her car, tie rod end, headlight, uh, power steering leak. It was a little small power steering leak I fixed. So it was a busy day of up and down. I actually had to take a break because I got really exhausted after doing one side <coughs> and um, needed to run an errand anyway. So I took a break, went and did that, and then came back and did the other side and was done. Like, I, I don't know... I don't know what time I fell asleep that night, but I'm pretty sure it was 9-ish, like pretty early. And so Saturday I woke up and uh, she was she was uh, with her brother, so I, I didn't know what time she was going to show up here or when, you know. So I woke up Saturday and was like, I'm going to rest. And I played a little bit of Red Dead Redemption, uh, like maybe an hour and I was feeling like that probably shouldn't have been what I needed to be doing because my car, my car, has been leaking coolant for a long time. And uh, it got really bad recently to the point that I needed to fill it up almost every time I drove it. And that's a bad situation to be in. But the temperatures have been such that it was really difficult for me to work on it. Plus, it's a Ford. I don't know anything about it. I've never worked on Fords before. I've worked on everything else. but <clears throat> So... So Sunday morning, I set to tearing the Ford apart. I did a little research, found out there's a pretty common issue. It's a Ford 4-liter with a uh, thermostat housing, which is a plastic piece. I, I had to beat it to death. But anyway, uh, so I ended up tearing the car apart, which was a nightmare uh, because all of this upper engine stuff, intake and all the stuff has to come off to get to this piece, which is buried underneath a whole bunch of wires and the hoses are like this long so there's not enough flex in them to do anything it was a complete pain took that part out and found out yes it was cracked and then decided to see if i could find one locally <laughs> not the other way around i didn't try to see if the part was available before i did it because i figured it's leaking so bad that i just need to not drive it and if worse comes to worse i'll stay home for a couple of days from work and i'll order the part and then it'll come in and i'll fix it but luckily uh a a dealer or a, um, parts store like about a half an hour down the road or 40 minutes down the road had it it was a beautiful day so I ended up riding the bike to go get that and um, got the part came back got my car back together after a few more problems <laughs> of course uh, and then I finally went and got a battery for it I've had to jump start it for the last few weeks it wouldn't the battery wouldn't hold a charge at all, and that's been really annoying. And I hate spending money on this car. It's a, it's really, really, really bad. It's in really bad shape. Uh, it needs a ton of body work. The body's starting to rust through. It has been wrecked in the rear end before. You can tell because it's a completely different color from the rest of the car. <clears throat> and um, it's the body is literally rusting off the car, and it needs a whole bunch of suspension work. Uh, it has some misfires. It, it's, it's got a lot of problems. <clears throat> so. I don't want to keep putting money into it because I it just needs to go away. The muffler's split in two right now, and I, I'm i going to try to put some muffler tape on it. I've never used muffler tape, so if you have any experience with it, 
I know I've heard of people having pretty good success with it. Uh, it's split along the width, not the length. So I can wrap the tape all the way around the muffler a couple times. Uh, and I've heard, you know, I've, I've had people tell me, yeah, it works great. Just, you know, put it on when the muffler is slightly warm and then start the car and let it come up to temperature and it'll seat in and you'll, you'll be okay. So I'll probably try that soon, but, uh, I've never, I've never used it. So if you have any experience with muffler tape, please let me know. But that was my weekend. I mean, it was just like non freaking stop. <clears throat> my hands are all dirty. I look like a mechanic again. Um, I got nothing done in here at all. I, I intended on cleaning mess, uh, and putting up lights and stuff. So that's the plan for this weekend uh, and this week. I'll probably work out here a little bit throughout the week as well. Maybe trying to get the lights hung, but uh, I'll be alone all weekend. So I'll uh, hopefully start working on the case for these guys. <clears throat> I've designed it. I have all the measurements that I need. So it's just a matter of getting the wood and cutting it and putting it together. It's going to be a little different than what I said it was going to be, but that's okay. Uh, I think that's okay. I hope that's okay. But yeah. Still feeling a little weird. Hopefully I'll be better tomorrow. Had a lot of sinus pressure today. So I'm going to go rest a little bit more and drink more fluids. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, being amazing friends, being wonderful people. Really appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Is in fact, from Wikipedia, how many pounds is a gallon of water? A U.S. liquid gallon of water weighs about 8.34 pounds, or 3.78 kilograms, at 62 degrees Fahrenheit, making it about 16.6% lighter than the imperial gallon. There are four quarts in a gallon, two pints in a quart, and 16 fluid ounces in a U.S. pint, which makes the U.S. gallon equal to 128 fluid ounces. <laughs>